I know you can never know. Are you supposed to move around? Move around. This period. This period. Yes. There is circulation. There is circulation. There should be no movement. Go to the human. Are you now? I'm not aware of it. I was not giving any answer. Uh, yeah. 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 No, you do not hear president. Uh, uh, no. No, I don't believe. You do not. Okay. 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 Yeah, even the bed are, even the bed are resting me. He is a new man, he is moving around. There are some people that are moving around. Let me explain to you. There are some people that are on the same schedule. Which have to enforce... Okay, you are asking whether I have passed. I do not ask you. I am asking you what do you think they are there for. You say you don't know. I don't know. But you, okay, are you, are, you, are you aware of it now? What you are That's you are telling me now. Are you aware now? My lord, my lord, I appear for the prosecution. My lord, Mr. Lucky Amir Dami. Mr. Lockie Amiadame. My Lord, Mr. Lockie Amiadame is being charged with the offense of illegal and restricted route violation. Illegal and restricted route violation. My Lord, this offense is contrary to section 11 and section 45 of the Road Traffic Act.
How do you feel with what happened to you? Wait, no, the Sorry, don't cry. Sorry. See. Hello. Hello. I came out because I needed to get some money from my account. So I, I stay at Sanya. So I went to the ATM there. It was not um, working. Not dispensing rather. So I just okay, let me just drive down. I was even having fell in my car to make things worse. But I can't, I can't go home that morning. So I just put my car in neutral. Just drove down to AYA. Sorry, to AYA. I packed my car, collected the two thousand naira from my account. So I was coming out, entered my car. And I also saw my neighbor that was going to buy food at the super with her food stuff. Ah, that is the I thank God. Though. Where are you coming from? I enter, let's go. And she was, as I opened my book to put a full stop, she bought. She entered. Let me start my car. One hill was just top across me. She said, I'm a car passenger. I quickly brought out my ID card and showed him. He said, Okay, see, see my ID card. I mean, see where I'm coming from. See what I did. I don't know what, what happened. I said, Go to the station. Go to the station. So, thinking is something that if I go, I explain myself, I'll be released. I drove to the station on Easter Monday around 11 in the morning. From that 11 o'clock till today, I'm still there begging them, begging them, begging them, still begging them. Only for me to come today, and I was asked to come to the court. And here I am, to tell them what happened. Well, my judgment was I should, my car will be, will be in their custody to the 30th of this month. I should pay a fine of 1,000 naira, which a good Samaritan has helped me to pay. But Leaving the car packed for up to a month without, without owning her and, and servicing it, I don't know how it will be. But I thank God for the judgment. Thank you. you have already seen uh, FCT administration has much words with action. Uh, the courts are already on ground and the prosecution of offenders that violated the lockdown is already ongoing and uh, this court presently are about in three locations in the FCT and by tomorrow it's going to be in 11 or 12 locations because now uh, it is the court of the DRTS that are activated. There are eight mobile court at the uh, AEPB that are going to be activated tomorrow as well meaning that uh, with the four that is presently operational, we are going to have 12 active mobile courts in and around the FCT. And uh, the offenders have been tried, as you have seen. Okay, tell us, what is the maximum penalty for offenders? The, pen <coughs> the penalty actually varies depending on the magnitude of your offense. That has to do uh, basically with the condition of your vehicle first, and then second, uh, which is almost a normal uh, violation, that is root violation, because anybody who has violated the lockdown is already in violation of the root, because uh, he is not allowed to fly the route and he has flied. So that one is an obvious uh, offense for almost all of them. So the charges varies between 25,000 up to 50,000, depending on the magnitude of your offense. But what is even more important is the fact that the court will always issue an order to detain the vehicle until the lockdown period is exhausted, the full release, even if you have, you, you, you said you are fine. Thank you, sir.
about uh, doing the enforcement, I think this is a, something that is very special to us here. You saw what they just did now in less than a few minutes. They've gotten about 13 offenders and they are still bringing more in, including one uh, foreigner here. It's something that we really, call, we really see as very, very commendable. Those who are here, sometimes uh, the fine may vary so high, but it still depends on the discretion of the magistrate here. Some who pleaded guilty are getting far lesser fine here, but the fundamental fact is that they are already ex convict and they must know that very strongly. And please, this is, those of us who are not on the exemption list should please stay at home. Tomorrow we'll tighten the grip beside a roadside road offender will be having many persons here. Driver, drivers who are offenders will have many persons here as well who are out there violating the rules. They will also be joining the list of ex-convicts should they contravene the orders uh, of the president and the orders of the country at a time like this. Thank you.